Secretary, good morning. Uh, many people don't know that actually food stamps falls under the Department of Agriculture, and a, and a report was just released that uh, that one in seven Americans now are, are currently on food stamps. Uh, what is what strategies? What's what's being done right now, and kind of being done going forward that you think is really addressing uh, you know poverty and the poor within the country, and, and and bringing some alleviation to those kind of numbers? Well, obviously, it's putting people to work, which is why we're going to propose uh, some interesting things during the course of the forum this morning. Uh, later this morning, we're going to have a press conference with myself and Secretary Mavis and Secretary Chu to announce something that's never happened in this country, which we think is exciting in terms of job growth. But I should point out that when you talk about the SNAP program or the food stamp program, you have to recognize that it's also an economic stimulus. Every dollar of SNAP benefits generates $1.84 in the economy in terms of economic activity. If people are able to buy a little bit more in the grocery store, then someone's got to stock it, shelve it, package it, process it, ship it. All of those are jobs. Uh, it's the most direct stimulus you can get into the economy during tough times. The reason why these numbers have gone up is that we've done a pretty good job of working with states that had done a poor job in the past in getting the word out about this program. States like California and Texas and Florida mm -hmm. underperformed. We're now working with them to make sure that people who are eligible uh, get the benefits and therefore uh, help stimulate their local economy. You know, 